Before 2020, most of us had not heard of COVID-19. We wouldn't have believed it if they had told us that you wouldn't be able to go out on the streets or that millions of people would die because of a virus epidemic. Until you live. Well, if some secret organizations told the world that they are preparing a zombie virus epidemic right now, would you believe it? Now listen to what I'm going to tell you and decide if it can be true and if it does do you have a crisis plan? Watch the video until the end and if this video is found useful by you, the second will come. Let's go to the video. You are watching. Mysterical. Twentieth about zombies, we've seen a lot of fiction in books and movies since the turn of the century. Or read. When western explorers came to visit Africa in 1819, they looked almost like corpses. He gave this name to the natives who danced in cloth. This profile, which depicts a dead person dancing standing at the time, is for western explorers. It was described as a zombie. But there was an important detail, the word zombie was not invented by western explorers, Makumba. Known as sorcerers, they allegedly raised the dead. These people, resurrected by the Makumba witches, were called zombies. Today, with the pandemic, the liquids made to humans are called graphene. The presence of the mysterious substance is now known and accepted by everyone. In fact, the only living zombie species in nature is not of human origin. There may not be people who have turned into zombies yet, but nature has also turned into many zombies. Possible to come across. And according to the most interesting claim of recent times, graphene turns people into zombies in the future. Well, could such a thing happen? Indian scientist named Rianima in the United States started a project he made a very interesting experiment with the support of the Pentagon, that is, the U.S. Army. Twenty corpses were brought from Africa and some chemical experiments were performed on the corpses. They aimed to make the brain move again by interfering with the neurons. In experiments on 20 people, they were successful in three people. So they raised three dead because they even managed to resurrect the dead with the Reanima project. On the other hand, on the official website of the U.S. Center for Disease Control, on May 16, 2011, he shared an article containing a zombie apocalypse warning. How do I prepare for a zombie apocalypse? There were suggestions for solutions based on the question. General Igor Kirillov from the Russian Ministry of Defense said that the Pentagon, the United States, is in Georgia. Secretly set up a base where experiments were conducted on zombie soldiers. Had claimed. There are 10 commandments on the monument called the Guidestone in the state of Georgia, USA. One of them is to reduce the human population to 500 million. This monument was built in 1980. Those who built the monument set the earth on fire for the return of Jesus to the world. Evangelists who even dare. Global barons believe that the earth can no longer handle the exponentially increasing population of the earth. And that's why he thinks the population needs to be reduced urgently. Of course, when we say this, it becomes a conspiracy theory, but it is respected by the whole world. The famous physicist Stephen Hawking wrote the same warning letter before his death. Was saying things. In that letter he said, the rich will form a superhuman race and humanity will perish. The plan described by this rhetoric is not very similar to that is necessary for the virus to spread. Well, now a question for you. If the nature we live in is full of zombie creatures, people can turn into zombies. Is it? Insects, caterpillars, fish. 
and maybe people in the future. A few years ago, a study was carried out on cats. Toxoplasma parasite found in cat feces is taking over cats' brains and turning them into zombies. Cats who lost their brain control turning into zombies force people to love themselves, and after people get used to them, they unexpectedly was biting. Thus, the Toxoplasma parasite was passed to humans. However, there was something that the Toxoplasma parasite did not know yet could not solve. Humans' immunity was much better and more robust than that of cats, so humans, he wasn't able to control their brains. However, it was still damaging, and in the tests conducted on some people, the bitten people showed symptoms such as high fever, muscle aches, runny nose, seemed to have lived. An interesting detail in the dusty pages of history when researchers encountered the single soplasm, they caught more. They first found traces of toxoplasma in Maya Egyptian mummies. So some people maybe died after becoming zombies. In many zombie movies, we have seen people come back to life after death. However, revivals after death weren't just in movies. A two-year-old little boy named Kelvin Santos suffered from severe pneumonia. Was hospitalized for. We were treated for a while. He died after, was put in a body bag the next day, and was handed over to his family. However, while he was in the coffin, his aunt claimed that the child had moved. Her family gathered at the coffin, but they thought that your aunt was dreaming of sadness. Because the little boy was not moving at all, was not breathing, and had no pulse. The family, who continued to cry at the head of the coffin, was shocked a few minutes later. Because the little boy was sitting up in the coffin looking at the people around him, everyone was shocked. The little boy chose his father from the crowd and asked his father for water. After drinking the water given to him, he lay down in the coffin again and closed his eyes. And it never opened again. Is this? In the Quran, in the Bible, during the apocalypse, God talks about strange creatures that will appear. He named those creatures Gog, Magog. I wonder if the Gog and Magogs told by the sacred texts are thought to emerge. Could it be zombies? I am sure there is no one who has not heard of the FEMA camps. In the United States, the power to seize all government in an emergency and a private organization with thousands of camps. FEMA management is also developing action plans against zombie attacks in the new period. Zombie Research Society, many of which are doctors and researchers. The group advises FEMA management on zombies. As a result, we see that the zombie issue will never be taken lightly or conspiracy theory. It's not something to be talked about. Camps are formed, professors do research, armies are formed, and defense plans. If we are preparing, we should open our eyes and question instead of plugging my ears. Please don't forget to share this video so it reaches more people. The next video will be about what we can do and how we can survive if we are exposed to a zombie epidemic. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe already. You are watching. Mystery Gold.